What is going on, y'all? It is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video. And this video is requested by one of my homies who knows I like speaking about stuff like this. <clears throat> and hold on, I got a ring light set up, it's looking good. You guys can see my room, yada yada. But this video is going to be about the border crisis again now i did a video earlier on in the year about the border crisis right but this video is going to be about kamala her recent interview with lester holt um excuse me when he asked her about the border and how she just you know does the same thing she will not go to the border at this point y'all i have been fed up because i'm trying to figure out how we can get these people to the border I don't know what we have to do. Lead a trail of breadcrumbs, leave some candy. You know, I, 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 I don't know. How can we get Kamala Harris to the border? Now, just to back up everything I'm doing this video, I've had to pull a lot of sources, a lot of sources. I like to do my due diligence for you guys, right? So I'm gonna start off the clip first. We are going to watch, um, and I just got like some like fish or something playing right here. So I'll just keep that going, but we're going to start off this video first with watching Joe Biden say who he's put in charge of the border. So that way there's no confusion. All right. So let's go ahead and roll that. But I've asked her, uh, the VP today, because she's the most qualified person to do it, to lead our efforts with uh, Mexico and the Northern Triangle and the countries uh, that uh, help us. We're going to need help in stemming the movement of uh, so many folks uh, stemming the migration to our southern border. All right, so you heard that, you saw that that man Biden said that he is going to put VP Kamala Harris in charge of the border, all right? As you all saw from the video, that was from March 24th. So he's assigned her the role. Now, you know, it, it, when you're an employee at a, like a place, right? Let's say your manager assigns you the role of every night you you work in a restaurant and every night you got to go clean the bathroom so when they show up the next morning you know after your night shift and the bathroom's not clean who did they assign that role to you feel me they assigned it to you so you're in charge of the border so kamala's in charge of the border all right so then you know i'm gonna insert now i'm gonna play a video of one of my videos i had back then from, I think it was like April 5th or so, I made a video called U.S. Border Crisis. As we know, the border is a complete mess, man. There are people coming into the border, and the only reason they are coming in, like I said in my previous video, if you want to go back and watch, I'll put it in the description, um, was underneath Trump, he had a policy where people who needed amnesty and stuff, okay, they have a reason to come in, but he made it to where you have to come to this country legally. You have to do it legally. There's no other way. We're going to talk about immigration now, gentlemen, and we're going to talk about families within this context. Mr. President, your administration separated children from their parents at the border, at least 4,000 kids. You've since reversed your zero tolerance policy, but the United States can't locate the parents of more than 500 children. So how will these families ever be reunited? Our children are brought here by coyotes and lots of bad people, cartels, and they're brought here, and they used to use them to get into our country. We now have as strong a border as we've ever had. We're over 400 miles of brand new wall. You see the numbers, and we let people in, but they have to come in legally, and they come in through. But and the policies were in place where you don't just get to come here and just sit over in the U.S. and wait until you can get in. You stay in your country. So you'll stay in Mexico. You'll stay in Guatemala. You'll stay in all these places, right? Now, when Trump said people can't come to our border, people said, oh, he's just so racist. Oh, he's just this. He's that. He's that. All right. And now that the policies have changed under Biden and Kamala, it's just like the coyotes have been saying. I'm going to probably have to throw a clip of that in there. That they're having a field there. They're raising so much money because... The new policies in the new administration is just letting people in in droves. So that's why they're coming in. Then, you know, like I said, they said Trump's a racist. He da 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 da. And then we get to the point of when he said, don't come into the country, right? Or you got to have amnesty or you have to do it legally, you know, yada yada. 
Then it comes to the fact that people call Trump a racist for that, right? Now, just like two days ago, maybe earlier this week, Kamala literally was in front of Guatemala making a speech. And she said, because of the border crisis, blah, 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 do not come. Do not come. You can blah, blah, blah. You won't be let in. And I want to emphasize that the goal of our work is to help Guatemalans find hope at home. At the same time, I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. There are legal methods by which migration can and should occur. But we, as one of our priorities, will discourage illegal migration. And I believe if you come to our border, you will be turned back. So let's discourage our friends, our neighbors, our family members from embarking on what is otherwise an extremely dangerous journey. We're in large part the only people who benefit are coyotes. Now she can say this, and before we even get started with she can say this, um, is anybody gonna call her racist? Is anybody gonna call Kamala for this? Is the media gonna say anything about this? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Then on top of that, right, she says, you know, you can't come, blah, 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 blah. We need to figure out. She did a she did an interview with Lester Holt after, you know, the Guatemala little speech or whatever. Right. And Lester Holt is like, are you ever going to go to the border? And she's like, you know, I'm thinking about going to the border. My bad about that. Just want to make sure I have my facts right, which I always do. But she was like, you know, I've, I've, we've been to the border. I'm thinking about going to the border. He's like, you haven't been to the border. I don't know who else you're talking about, but you haven't been. And she was like, well, I haven't been to Europe either. And it's like. <sighs> Just quickly put a button. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm not discounting the importance of the border. <sighs> Makes no sense. She was in charge of the border since March. People have been saying, when is Kamala going to get to the border? When is this problem going to be fixed? The reason they're fleeing this much is because of you all's policies. It's a direct correlation. This wasn't happening underneath Trump. Why? Because people weren't coming in. They weren't. But they called Trump racist for not letting people in. But when Kamala says it, it's, oh, you know, it's a challenge at the border. It's not really a crisis yet. So I'll go ahead and put that clip in there, too, where... She's literally like, we need to find the root causes of what's going on at the border. I mentioned it because even, I, I know Republicans have certainly come at you on this, but Democratic Congressman Cuellar as a border district has said to the, you and the president, come, you need, I care you need to see about, this. Listen, I care about what's happening at the border. I'm in Guatemala because my focus is dealing with the root causes of migration. There may be uh, some who think that that is not important. But it is my firm belief that if we care about what's happening at the border, we better care about the root causes and address them. And so that's what I'm doing. And the root cause is your policies, right? The president has been talking and speaking very compassionately about migration, certainly children migration. Do you believe the president's message of compassion about children coming to the United States is making the situation worse or is indirectly encouraging migrants to informally migrate to the U.S.? I am nobody to make a judgment here, but I believe in the first few weeks of the Biden administration, messages were confusing. 
hubo mensajes de compasión There were que fueron compassionate tomados messages por that were understood by people in our country, países, coyotes, especificamente, especially the coyotes, a, to tell families, we'll take the children. Los niños. Los niños van a ingresar, y media vez ingresan los niños. The children can go in, and once the children are there, Entonces, they will call their parents. Mensajes, digamos, confusos. And no so those messages were confusing, dicho, not Estados because Unidos, of the way they were communicated, but because of the way they were translated here. We all know that this isn't this isn't like rocket science. Like I'm putting this together in my room. Like this isn't this isn't hard to comprehend. So then Lester Holt, you know, like I say, he's like, you haven't been to the border, and he, you know, going through that, and she's like, well, I haven't been there. <laughs> you know how she does. Like in the clip I showed you earlier from when I recorded that video back in April, when Kamala gets hit with a question that's not a. <laughs> Here's a softball, Kamala, hit it for us, hit it. Here's a cotton ball, Kamala, hit the cotton ball with these soft questions. And she ends up having hard or tough questions. She folds and you know she's lying or she's folding. She folds like origami. I mean, Kamala just be folding. Like, I, I've never seen somebody fold the way she does, but she literally laughs just like at the, you know, border thing. She's like, <laughs> I mean, I'll get to the border. Maybe not today, but I will. Do you plan to visit the border? Um, not today, <laughs> but um, I have before and I'm sure I will again. So she said that, right? That was in April. We are now in hmm, June. And he asked her and she does the same thing, starts folding under pressure because there's no more softball questions being tossed her way. And she, <laughs> I, I, I've been to the border. I, I haven't been to Europe either. What's your point? Border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. <sighs> Let me calm down. The point is, Kamala, you're in charge of the border. Take some responsibility. Get your laughing self down to the border and figure out what the root cause is of people coming across the border. Is it that hard? And I bet you if she walked herself down to the border, what would she find? Her policies are the reason why. That's the root cause of people coming across the border. Now, if you don't believe me that people are like, it's Kamala and them that are hurting this, I'm going to put in another clip here where the Guatemalan people are like, Kamala, mind your business. Kamala, Trump won. Kamala garbage like they they don't like her so you have to think like the place that she's telling some do not come blah, blah, they, they don't like her they liked it better than Trump because one people are leaving their country Two, the coyotes and all of the other people they're actually you know causing more harm because they're doing all this for money they're getting kids and stuff and send them across the border is dangerous like so a huge wave of migrant unaccompanied children starts that's a matter of concern because as soon as they cross the border between mexico and the u.s they fall into the hands of cartels prostitution network and so on and it's all because of their policy it's, it's literally no other explanation for it. They, they People just didn't wake up after 2020 for the 2021 and say, well, nothing's changed here. You know, we just want to go to the border more this year. No, people who came across the border, like I show, I don't understand. It's starting to make me mad, bro. But people that came across, like in my video in April, they came across with Biden and Kamala Harris shirts on. You know, we just have a lot of you know, immigrants trying to come in. And it's even gotten even worse because when these immigrants come into the country, they've even shown lots of illegal immigrants coming over with Biden t-shirts on. So they're letting in all these immigrants come into the country. They're all wearing Biden shirts. So off rip, they're gonna be biased. The person who let me into the country, I'm gonna vote for them regardless. Because the only reason they came here is because of their policies, bro. 
What makes me mad is the fact that it's the hypocrisy. They said Trump was racist. Kamala does it. No one says a word. She's in charge of the border. She hasn't been down there. The border is still a crisis. They call it a challenge. Bro, all Kamala had to do, and see, I feel like one of the reasons she doesn't want to go to the border, because if she does, then she has to admit the Republicans were right. I wasn't down there at the border. But you know what? I'm a person where I'm tired of all the political games. She doesn't want to go to the border because she doesn't want to be seen as the laughing stock of the Republicans or make her Democratic people be like, you caved in to the Republicans. First off, if we really truly care about the border that they ran on where we're going to make the border so secure, the border is going to be great. It's going to be better than what it was when he's Trump. It's far worse. All she has to do is take her <laughs> and I, mean, I don't I don't I down to the border. When she gets down to the border, see the problem with the policies, sit down with the Republicans and the Democrats and let's get some legislature made. I'm tired of the political games. We need to ask. I, I'm tired of politicians. We live in America. I don't know where we went wrong when we stopped trying to fix problems and we started caring more about how we look. Put your pride to the side. Take your pride pill. Swallow it, Kamala. Gather your belongings. Go down to the border. Figure out why your policies have done what they've done. Then let's get some legislature going so we can fix the problem. Then guess what? You won't have to worry about anybody asking you why you're not at the border. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You won't have to hear Republicans' mouths no more. The ball will now be on the Republicans' court. Let's get some legislature made. Then guess what? Maybe we could fix the border. Maybe people would like you a little more, Kamala. But she's not going to do that. For some reason, this woman cannot get herself down to the border. I don't know what it is. Maybe she's allergic to something at the border. I don't know. She was put in charge of the border in March. It's now June, March, April, May, June. It's been four months and she's still not at the border. Can anybody explain to me why? Why? I'm in charge of the bathrooms in my restaurant at night. The next morning, the bathrooms aren't clean. The manager asked me why. Four months later, they still not clean. Somebody needs to be fired from their job, right? You're fired. Somebody needs to figure out why them bathrooms not getting clean, right? Right? Like, come on, man. This doesn't, like, it, it literally doesn't make sense. And she looks bad. Like, the longer this goes on of her not going to the border, the more it's like, well, why didn't we just keep Trump in office with his policies? Like, why? Like, why didn't we? Because he would have just kept the border normal. I mean, they called it a crisis when it was low numbers. Now the border has more numbers than it's ever had. A surge it's ever had. All she has to do is get down there and figure out what the problem is. But you know why she won't go to the border? Like I said, she doesn't want to prove the Republicans right. And she knows it's her own policies. There's no other root causes. Everyone knows that. You know what's crazy? Everyone knows the root causes but Kamala and Biden. And I feel bad for Kamala, too, because it's like Biden put her in charge of it because he knew if it was given to him, he would have failed at the mission and they would have made fun of him and he would have been canceled. He would have been everything. So she, he gave it to Kamala so she could take all the heat for it. And she's folding. You got to call her Kamala Origami because she's folding. She's folding. She's folding. So it's just like, you know, man, like. <sighs> this will just, I guess, continue going on and on. You know, in my eyes, it's like they said Trump was a racist for stopping people, telling them don't come across to the U.S. Kamala says it. She's a racist in my eyes. She's black. She's racist. But if you don't vote for me, you're not black. I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. She's contradicting herself right there, man. Even though she did call Biden a racist running against him and then she ended up on his ticket and i'm gonna now direct this at vice president biden um i do not believe you are a racist and i agree with you when you commit yourself to the importance of finding common ground mm -hmm. but i also believe and it's personal and it, i was actually very it was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two 
United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose busing. I don't, don't know how that happened either. But yeah, man, so I just wanted to get this video out just explaining the whole border thing. Like I said, I'm going to put everything up on the screen, you know, that coyotes know why people are getting across the border, why they're, what the root cause is. Coyotes know the people of these countries that have people leaving. They know. Republicans, they know. Some Democrats, they know. The only person that doesn't seem to understand is the person in charge of the border and the person that put her in charge of the border. The only thing they keep doing is blaming Trump when in fact it's far worse now than it ever was under Trump. Gotta think about that one, man. Can we keep blaming one man for everything? He's no longer in office. Who do you blame once the person that left is gone? Except for the people that are in charge of what they were assigned. But anyways, man, I'm tired of making enough common sense videos. You feel me? Like everybody here knows that. If you watch me and you see what I put up months ago, you know what this is all about. A bunch of games played by Kamala. She can just keep laughing. I don't even know what to tell her anymore. Like it is what it is. But it's been your boy Chad, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, man, thank you for watching. Peace.